guys doing? I'm Andy with My Soldier Trades. And I'm Sarah. So uh, today is an awesome day so far. I closed out 2% in my margin account, which yep. is pretty awesome. And uh, you know, I was killing it and like pat myself on the back, like, man, you were so awesome. You're the best day trader in the world. And then Sarah just comes through like, like seriously, it's like if we were racing, I was on a 50cc moped and she was on like, you know, I don't know, in a Lamborghini. Yeah, there we go. I made over 14%, a little over 14%. Yes, Sarah made over 14% on her account. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm assuming that her account is going to go from a small account to passing, you know, me in no time. I don't know. We'll, yeah. we'll see. We'll <laughs> see shortly. Yeah, and we tr it was HBTX. It had news today. Um, they rallied on a provisional coronavirus patent application. Yeah. And I believe they also got an upgrade later on after this news, or an upgrade in a $1 price target, too. <laughs> so, you guys, I don't know why I trade some of the garbage that I trade, because I can see these stocks like HPTX, and I can see the relative strength, and I know, like, almost every... I mean, honestly, when I see this relative strength, I'm never afraid. It always seems to work out really yeah. good. But um, then I go touching this other stuff in stupid spots, like... I come in, I think, with a thesis that would be a more longer term thesis. Like, I kind of know it's the right thesis, wrong time, mm -hmm. but yet here I am touching it anyways, and it's like, okay, right. I have to stop doing that. I, I need to work on my discipline of what I'm messing with, when I'm messing with it. You know, I sit here and I see so many great trades. I call them all the time, and, you know, I even call them to Sarah, and Sarah's making big money on, on what I should be making big money on. Yeah. And instead, I'm, like basically wasting my time spinning my wheels right. trading some garbage so you know I think that we all need to be really careful mm -hmm. and uh, it's sometimes the best trade is no trade yeah exactly that's something that everybody should remember that sometimes the best trade is no trade at all yeah and um, last week I traded G and MK out of the hall yeah did really well on that that was awesome I think like three percent or over three percent on the account right there right like three point two percent on the account total that day mm -hmm. so that was really awesome and the thing is though is I got another position and basically I just went right back into the fetal stages I got I started looking at the news I did not look at the uh, downside I just looked at the upside I looked at the news I looked at the hype and I just believed it all and it was just I mean just so stupid what a, what a waste well and, yeah and I know they came out with news saying that they had and I've seen other people post that they had FDA approval for a COVID-19 test kit well it turns out that's not entirely true well, in, in their defense, on their website, it does say what it tests for. Right. It does not say COVID-19. Right. And right. Um, I decided to give them a call just to make sure. And you guys don't ever feel uh, afraid to give these companies a call and ask any questions you might have. You know, just, I, try to, I try to keep it professional, right. but, you know, just briefly yeah. professional. So, but. Uh, yeah, but basically it's on their website. It was on their website when that news even came out. You just have to do digging, and sometimes it's worth it because you never know you could lose money on news that isn't entirely true. Because they do have a uh, a coronavirus test kit, but it's for SARS. And yeah, for murders. SARS, and yeah. So yeah, definitely yeah. Uh, like a, a punch in the gut on that one because the news basically to me what I heard was, hey, this is awesome. This is yeah. COVID nineteen. This is coronavirus, but you know it says coronavirus, but what coronavirus? Right. And I, I found out today. I think MRSA is a type of coronavirus. Yes, it is. And that's just been learning a lot about these viruses, especially the Corona, because you know it's new and you're interested in finding out this stuff, especially oh, yeah. me. <laughs> yeah, Sarah's really into weather and like now this virus, the virus patterns. Yeah. Oh, and the, the, and locusts, the locusts that are if nobody knows about that, me. check out the locust swarms in Africa. Oh, yeah, it's really bad. It's bad. Yeah, there, people there's people that are posting on like TikTok and everything. You guys, and another thing, I was thinking about uh, a lot of the how I was saying that I was gonna do you know, try to put some educational courses on our website. I was thinking about doing some fast micro courses on TikTok. Yeah. So, um, you know, forgive me for any ridiculous stuff that I might do on TikTok. You never know what I might do over there. But I'm going to start putting little uh, little videos that can help understand. Just br brief little lessons and uh, mm -hmm. to help people... You know, just understand and see what I'm doing here. Yeah, well, I think that's kind of cool because, you know, everybody learns different ways, right? Right. And Sometimes just a little TikTok video could help. <laughs> yeah, and the coolest thing about it is, like, TikTok videos are just, you know, so easy to go from 
Oh, well, he's talking about float. I know about float. Oh, the RSI, that's really cool. I didn't know that it was made up of these candles like this. Right. Like, you know, whatever. so anyways, today, HBTX, me and Sarah both traded it. We banked on it. I'm watching and uh, working on some trades right now. So we're not going to be completely done on this wrap up as far as that goes. We had some great trades Friday, one really stupid trade, and yeah. just I feel really uh, ridiculous. I am really sorry to you guys that I didn't digest that news sooner and better. Like, I really should have, um, you know, I think that it was it was put to the point where I already knew that this thing was totally destroyed by the time I even got on the phone and started doing some more research on that. Yeah. So that's just not good. That's not acceptable at all. Mm -hmm. I do not want to uh, put anything across the squawk or be enthusiastic and excited about something that, you know, I'm, I mean, I know that you guys are responsible for your own trades and everything, but at the same time, I don't want to be the reason that you guys get excited about something too. Right. You know. Yeah, we know how that is because, you know, we would get excited about someone saying, hey, oh, yeah. you know, and then we'd be like, whoa, we got to get it. And I then actually, we'd get, you know. Yeah, sorry. I actually left. We actually left a uh, chat because of that. Yeah. It was always like, check this out, guys. And, and the thing that we were always checking out was some low volume, like 174,000 traded or something, thing that looked like a barcode that has one stick sticking straight up. And then all of a sudden you buy it and it drops all the way to the bottom. It's like, bro. Like, did you, are you the, like, you just wanted then, me to buy it. <laughs> right, because later on you look at that and, and, and this guy's like, like, I bought it here at the very bottom, the very bottom. How do you buy there when it's never hit a scanner? Right. Like, um, the news didn't, there's no news that came out, there's no news on it, and it's never hit a scanner. I guess we're going into trading conspiracies and, and we're going oh, into yeah, gurus yeah, and yeah, we're going into we that go. all right yeah. now. So there you go. Stay tuned for that, guys. Mm -hmm. Some more trading gurus and conspiracies coming your way. Yeah. So you got not much more to say, I guess, yeah, on video. you know this amazing wrap-up video. But we're just watching CODX, NOVN, and just a lot of these Corona stocks. Um, you know, a lot have been destroyed. VISL, I guess, completely pump and dump. You know, that yeah. I'm seeing a lot of this pump and dump stuff. There's a lot of hype, but, you know. Well, CODX, they have news today. They, well, they, they also closed their offering today, but they had news about um, they're providing the COVID-19 test to U.S. CLIA labs following that FDA policy change that just came out on Saturday. So this is a stock to watch, for sure, because they, they do make the test kits for the COVID-19, which we desperately need. Yeah, and any of you guys, if you know any other uh, COVID-19 or potential COVID-19, um, anything that they'll be using for this, you know, first of all, we want to get in and we want to support these companies. We yeah. want to buy their stocks, you know, if they are actually going to help with whatever could come our way from this. And, you know, it's good to know in advance, you know, if we would have swept these things sooner yeah. and known what was going down, we would have been in a lot better position with all these but instead, you know, waiting till the last minute, here we are the pump and dump. Right. You know, so if we're, if we're getting the alert when this thing's already spiked and dumping like VISL, people may bank on that. Yeah, but. and I've been, you know, what I've noticed a lot with these stocks lately is a lot of this stuff is happening pre-market and then there's not too much when it opens. You know, Sarah's usually really smiley. She must be angry at this what? stuff. She's, she's looking like vicious today. I want to, yeah, I want to. <laughs> she's going to punch some market maker in the face or something. Here. I don't know. Yeah, I've seen them do some shady stuff, but hey. And market makers, if you have any advice or anything, you want to let us know, um, you know, what kind of tricks you pull over there and, you know, how we can uh, make bank on those tricks, give us a call. Give us, uh, uh, send us an email, mightysoldierstrades at gmail.com to any market makers out there, any institutional traders, anybody who wants to just, you know, anything. You can even send send a middle finger if you want to flip it down. Uh, anything you'd like. Yeah. So thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for joining us. And we hope that you have a great trading day and trading week. And come check us out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah, the like and subscribe part, yeah. Thanks, guys. Hi, I'm Sarah with Mighty Soldiers Trades. We really appreciate your support. If you like that video, please like and subscribe. Thanks.